Okay, first of all, thank you for uh, joining the interview with Coin City A. Uh, yes. Media in Vietnam. Uh, very, very excited to uh, uh, with uh, about your IEO on Google Spotlight. So, uh, first of all, can you uh, uh, shop introduce yourself as well as your, you know, like uh, your uh, way to uh, to Coin? So, uh, basically, I'm a, a, I used to be a banker. Uh, for six and a half years, uh, I, I studied in Canada and then moved back to Indonesia back in 2013, right? Uh, I still uh, pursue my career as a banker. Uh, I'm handling personal finances and also corporate finances. So um, I have a back, uh, experience in uh, credits and also uh, building wealth for, you know, personal customer and also uh, corporate customer. So, and then uh, me and my partner, we co-founded a, a startup before, a marketplace for furniture and home decor uh, back in 2015. Uh, the company is still ongoing. Uh, I think uh, it's handled by professional right now. So, uh, what uh, we learned from the, the past experience is uh, small businesses or micro, small and medium businesses that we are uh, uh, dealing with is actually having a, a challenges and problem in terms of cash flow. Uh, then uh, from that we see we, we need to create something valuable to help all the small businesses to to gain access to you know uh, funding through loan or you know any other uh, funding uh, you know resources. That's why Tokoin uh, was established uh, last year, 2008, uh, 2018, uh, in August 2018, and then we started fundraising in November, and then yeah, um, until now, and then we're focusing yeah. on IEO and building the product. Okay, so can you uh, explain a little bit about the model of uh, uh, two coin? How's it work in uh, uh, actually? Um, basically, the model of uh, Tocoin is uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to digitalize uh, transaction data from small businesses, micro, small, and medium enterprises. So, um, as you know, uh, Indonesia has 56 million micro, small, medium enterprises, and then. Um, Uh, you know, it's very traditional. Uh, my family also run, uh, uh, you know, a small businesses. Uh, it's been 30 years. We run a mom and pop store for, you know, uh, car spare parts. And then uh, the transaction has always been uh, manually uh, recorded uh, on paper. So, um, you know, when we uh, present that data into, you know, to banks, I don't think the bank or financial institution will, will accept it, right? Yeah. So, Um, that's why we create Tocoin as an infrastructure of data, trying to digitalize, you know, transaction data from small, medium enterprises um, yeah. to our blockchain. So it's safe and also, um, you know, immutable. And then when the banks want to use the data, they can uh, extract it from the, from the blockchain system. So that's how Tocoin actually works. Okay. So the main, uh, the main revenue stream of uh, Tocoin come from... Uh, Uh, transaction of uh, uh, SME, uh, uh, you know, like uh, data, right? Is there any yes. other uh, revenue stream? Oh, basically, uh, revenue stream is uh, we we uh, we created some of the revenue stream. Uh, we believe one of them is from transaction fee and also uh, uh, commission when when there's a loan uh, being uh, you know disbursed, right? But uh, we find other revenue streams such as advertising as well because you know all the data is being uh, you know recorded in one place, and then I can understand what's the behavior of MSME or which product that they sell. So um, I think the other revenue model is actually from advertisement. So brands, you know, big uh, corporation, uh, you know, like uh, principal company factory can advertise in our platform. Okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, if I am the data buyer, uh, if I were a data buyer, so I have to stake Toco to get access to the data. So how, uh, what is the mechanism in, in, in actually? So the mechanism is actually like this. So um, again, when, we, uh, when you finish tra doing transaction, MSME finish doing transaction, then you get incentive by uh, token, right? And also um, any, you know, we try to make the utility work in, ter in terms of our ecosystem. So we work together with some partners as well. Um, Uh, in terms of, you know, connecting with, uh, you know, uh, MSME with other services. So this uh, will be keeping in our ecosystem in terms of, you know, uh, tokenization. So um, again, um, 
to join us, it's free. Uh, SME, MSME join us free, but then there's certain amount that we will uh, we will incentivize, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we will give incentive to the MSME to start the yeah. business yeah. in our ecosystem. So that's how the, the things work. And then the utility will be building upon, you know, connectivity from MSME mm -hmm. to other partners. So do you find any difficulty when you try to persuade the MSME to join your platform? Um, actually, uh, challenges is always there. Um, there's, there's no such thing. There's no challenges. I believe challenges is there. But then the strategy of us is actually we work together with partners. So we work together with uh, the largest business to business marketplaces in Indonesia. They have more than 500,000 merchants or small business, micro, small, medium enterprises that uh, you know, need to be digitalized, uh, uh, the, the transaction that need to be digitalized. So we work together with them. So our strategy is not just, you know, going into the ground, um, you know, persuading MSME uh, one by one, but we work together with, you know, partners, um, credit union that have, um, you know, members of um, 700,000 to 1 million across Indonesia. So we work with this kind of organization to help the MSME. So, um, and also we work with the government. We work with Industrial uh, Ministry of Indonesia and also Trade Ministry of Indonesia. So that's how we trying to, uh, strat uh, that's our strategy going to the market. Uh, yeah. That's what we believe to, to, to create the value instead of, you know, just going by one by one. Um, yeah. that's, that's from us. Okay, so how can you verify the information submitted by the MSME? We work to, uh, for, for, the, uh, for the verification, uh, basically we, we have two parts, right? The first one is MSME logging the data. The second one, the person that doing transaction with MSME will also verify the data because we created two part of uh, what you call, we created two part of apps. So the one is the validator of the data and the one is the submitter of the data. So that's how we try to keep uh, the data valid. Um, we also work together with uh, one of our uh, partners, actually an agent uh, uh, company. So they have 300,000 agent across Indonesia. Mm -hmm. This agent can also be coming the, uh, the verificator of our data transaction. Yeah. So yes. how big is your uh, community up to now? Both sides, the side of MSME and the side of uh, the partner who ready to pay for mm -hmm. the data. Okay. So MSME wise, we have at least uh, 500,000 to 1 million as a target. So that's MSME numbers. So for community and agents, we have, um, I think, close to 300,000 for, 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 uh, for our agent to help us in terms of educating the MSME and also uh, becoming the validator. Um, our our uh, you know, social media community also keep growing. Uh, we are 12,000, I think, across Telegram. And then we have more than, I think, uh, more than 10,000 across other channels as well. Um, okay. Yeah, our CEO also a business owner, and then he also is a community, you know, key opinion leader in Indonesia. So he's, I think he has some influence in about, you know, 96,000 people yeah, yeah. in Indonesia as well. So yeah. that's how big our community is. Okay, so for, uh, for the roadmap from, uh, uh, from now to 2020, uh, yeah. can you disclose some information about listing or uh, partnership with Vietnam in, in the industry? So uh, for 2019 to 2020, the focus is actually again our our spot. Uh, I think uh, KuCoin will launch us as a as a spotlight event, right? Spotlight uh, project in, in less than a week, uh, which is on the August 23rd. Then the focus after that is actually uh, building the product. It's actually on the way. So our first, um, you know, our first module of uh, application will be launching um, late September. So you can see the first module of our application uh, will be launching in uh, end of September. Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll be including um, some of the module will be point of sales. Uh, we also will input wallet because we believe uh, the, to keep the ecosystem, to keep the token performance going, we need to do, um, you know, utility using the wallet as well. So mm -hmm. that's actually the goal for 2019. Yeah. And 2020 is more into um, getting more partners, connect more resources to MSME. 2019 is building product, launching the product, and acquiring more uh, acquiring MSME to use the product. And 2020, more into acquiring partner that can give value to uh, to MSME. 
Yeah, yeah. So I heard that you have a uh, plan to partner with the uh, Taiwan city in Vietnam, mm -hmm. in Malaysia and Vietnam. So what do you want to achieve in our country and how okay. are you going to do it? Okay, I visited Hanoi uh, back in, I think back in March. I visited Hanoi back in March. I visited Ho Chi Minh uh, uh, last, last month, I think the end of July. Um, we see the market of MSME in Vietnam is also growing. Uh, I think tremendously growing. Um, the, the, the one more thing, uh, one more thing that we see is actually the culture. Indonesian MSME and also Vietnamese MSME share the same culture in doing business wow. and also share the same challenges in terms of you know um, getting getting loan and also uh, you know keeping with the cash flow. So yeah. that's what we believe. We're building one technology that we can use. Uh, into other country and giving value to other country, especially Vietnam right now. So, for us, Vietnam is actually is going to be the first, uh, you know, uh, foreign market that we will target because we believe uh, the value will be, you know, will be will be very useful and beneficial for Vietnamese business as well. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how can you uh, ensure your uh, your record to be uh, immutable and uh, anti censorship, like 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 you mentioned in the the white paper. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, we uh, we work together. Uh, our team is actually building on the blockchain side, right? Right now, we still we are using Ethereum for smart contract. That again, uh, we always look for other uh, you know protocol. Uh, uh, one of them is being is Tomo Chain, which is the yeah. Vietnam the Vietnamese project. I think most prominent yeah. Vietnam project that I think uh, very good in terms of building the technology, right? He, they become our partner in terms of you know blockchain technology. So I think um, you know being uh, uh, data being stored into the public chain uh, will be for sure immutable because and also anti censorship. So uh, like uh, I think previously you also asked how we can uh, go in into the Vietnamese market. We always try to find Vietnamese partner. So Tomo Chain is one of the partner for sure, and then we would love to work together with other partners from yeah. Vietnam. Right, so uh, I think we believe in collaboration. We don't yeah, believe yeah, in yeah. working by ourselves, but we believe in collaboration. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk a, bit, a little bit about uh, funding. So how yeah. much did you uh, already raise uh, in your previous rounds? Okay. So we actually we have uh, five rounds of funding. So um, these are all in our private sale. So the first two rounds, round one and round two, or we can call tier one and tier two, is actually on the you know on the seat funding side right and then uh, the later uh, tier which is tier three to tier, uh, tier five is actually more into like the you know the next series of funding so uh, I, I think total uh, uh, total funding that we raise is close to 12 million dollars and then um, uh, right now we only use probably uh, less than five percent of the fund because we believe in you know building a good business and trying to start, trying to sustain the business for the next five to ten years so the funding we will be use it effectively uh, one of the time uh, one of the uh, the thing that we will be using for is actually building a techno uh, technology team in Vietnam that's why one of the thing uh, that's why uh, Vietnam is uh, really close to our heart yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why the last time I went to Ho Chi Minh is actually uh, trying to connect with the recruiter in Vietnam uh, to help us building uh, Vietnamese technology team. Yeah, so yeah. I think our goal is to have like 10 to 15 people as a technology team in Vietnam. Wow, yeah, okay. So what is the, the detailed uh, vesting plan for the, the, the amount of token held by a team, investor, and partners? So um, for private investor, it's actually uh, the first thing, uh, I'm gonna explain to you for the private investor, the first thing, uh, the, the, the lockup period is 12 months. And then the fasting is actually monthly. And then on the fasting side, we uh, we have uh, you know uh, uh, distributed a small portion each month. So uh, starting with only one, I think one percent uh, uh, for the first month, and then the first three month total will be about four percent. That's for the private sale. And then you can see it, uh, you know, uh, getting uh, you know uh, larger uh, towards the end of the twelve months. For team and also advisor, we are locked for 24 months. So we cannot touch it, we, there is no vesting uh, up to, you know, until 24 months, then we, the, the uh, what you call, the, the, the token is unlocked, but then for, for the period of 24 months, there is no vesting for us. 
okay. and also advisor in other other parties. Yeah. So you start your uh, your project uh, at the beginning of uh, 2018, and your uh, the, the the token is locked for 24 months. So the token hold by team and advisor will be unlocked in uh, in the government, right? So we, we started we started the project actually in August 2018, and we started fundraising and you know uh, officially registered as a company in the November 2019. So uh -huh. I think for the team and also I advise that the lockup period prob, uh, will be released in the next two years, which is uh -huh. 2000, uh, 2020-ish, right? Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So. Uh, uh, thank you for your interview today. Any other uh, uh, comments about uh, Vietnam market? Uh, any message to, to us? I think you know. Um, I'm I'm excited to 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 explore Vietnam market. That's why I make a trip a lot to Vietnam because yeah. again, uh, you know, I see the tremendous growth in Vietnam uh, in Vietnam you know economy. I, I I like the people. The people is the same like Indonesia. I like the food. I like the you know the work ethic. Definitely is yeah. the work ethic. Yeah. I believe in Vietnamese people, uh, you know, work so much. I think you guys work until Saturday, right? You guys work six days a week, right? So I, and then you guys is the, 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 the only country that have less holiday, right? Yes. Yeah. That's why, like, you know, we, we love Vietnam so much. We see the market is growing. We believe that we can share the technology. We can share the value to Vietnam market. Yeah. Uh, that's why we want to build a team in Vietnam. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, very glad to, to hear that. Uh, thank you for your interview today. Uh, thank you. Thank you. In, in, in Vietnam, so definitely, I will connect with you. Uh, uh, probably first week or second week of September, I will fly to Vietnam as well. Okay. Thank. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you yeah. so much, Ned. Okay. Talk to Bye. you again. Bye. Yeah.